Hello everybody, and this is the 113 review, so we take a look at this tank in the game actually. I'm not going to show you in the garage because there's just nothing really to show there. So let's just have a look at it here. So the 113 has a gun which is the same as the WZ120 at tier 9 on a medium tank. That might seem pretty bad, but actually it's just because the WZ120 is just awesome. Not that this gun is bad even in tier 10, so it is comparable to the IS Force gun. And this thing has a penetration of 249, so that's adequate but not good for tier 10 standard, in my opinion. I would like to have it around 270 to 60 to be to be able to say that is is um, above good. But this thing is it will do the job, so nothing too bad. But the gun on the one two one is better than this gun actually. The medium tank gun is same caliber but better in almost every way. So this thing carries thirty four rounds. It's all right. Rate of fire is about five point seven four, but with of course better crew and all that, you can get that lower, I believe. And this thing has two thousand three hundred hit points is this good uh, the whole armor on the front is only 120 but it says 120 don't believe that shit if it says 120 but look at the sloping here look at that sloping you're, you're looking at 300 to 400 ish I believe so the lower plate is of course the weak spot of all Chinese Chinese tanks I believe it's just the lower lower plate you just shoot it every time but do not shoot it on the upper plate, it will ricochet like shit. The side armor, the the side is not reliable, but it works. Um, it's not as good as the IS-7 side, but it, it will do the job. But what does this thing, why is it so good of a tank in many people's perspective? So, it weighs 45 tons, um, it can weigh to a maximum of 48, and it has a forward maximum speed of 50. Now 50 is just phenomenal for a heavy tank of this um, size is very long as you can see I'm um, longer than like T95s and tanks like that so yeah this thing is just a pretty much a medium heavy hybrid and that is how you want to play it you got your heavy tank you got more health than most mediums and you got more armor than most mediums but however you ideally would want to play it that you beat up other mediums. So, we just on Insk, one of the best maps in the game, in my opinion, uh, get straight to action. So, I was saying that I want to go here to do this really crazy location here. It will work, if it does, it will be good, but most likely it wouldn't be. But anyway, I, I'll give it a go. But you see, even the T32 penned me there. Even upper plate, he pen me. The fuck is that? He pen me on the upper plate. Okay, that is totally unexpected. I don't expect him to pen my upper plate. Really, uh, lower plate is where I wouldn't really complain about since um, pretty much every tank can pen me like that. But showing uh, if I side scrape like this, he's got pretty much no chance. And I just gotta pray that the RD is not on me. I blow up the building so you know you can't camp around there. The reload is not bad, um, certainly better than the ones on the IS-7 and such. But it's not like if it's super amazing or anything like that, like the 121 has. Um, this thing I believe is just very polarized in many people's perspectives because you either love it or you don't. There's no in between really. Uh, well, it's hard to have people who think it's alright, but it's not that good it's either it's, it's shit or it's like epic so I, I began playing this hearing that this would this thing would be absolute beast of a tank however when I got my hand on one of them I was really really disappointed with the uh, armor the the gun handling because you know the gun depression problem and the, the gun depression is more of a problem on this to be honest than maybe a uh, WZ120 because this tank is so long it's hard for you to utilize the terrain to angle yourself in the right spot but 
if you if you get into the right position and all that, you can do a fair good job of this. So the the game didn't really start off that well, uh, and I'm about to get into tons of shitty problems. And there, uh, get lucky the Borzik missed me, but I gotta kill this T thirty four T T T thirty two really quickly. And holy shit, I just realised how much trouble I'm in now. Because now I got FV as well, but I need to nail the FV and shit. The flipping Borsig, angle the armor. Can I? Uh, no, it didn't work. So anyway, let's kill him. Okay, that was a good shot. And we did. Oh shit, this Yak Tiger does not seem like he's a good player at all. Nice bug world of things. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I, I think my. Uh, the two mates uh, shot him there, and holy shit, I just have to run away from the Yak Tiger, and now I'm I'm so screwed. I'm in the front of um, FE, and now this is where the penetration of the gun fails pretty hard. As you can see, it, I I really can't pen people that well. But now I took a shot on the side of the, the Yak by the Yak Tiger, and now I'm 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 safe now because I'm in the right position in my opinion. Side scraping, but really, it's more about you bashing up and surprising other mediums in the game because this tank will and will certainly travel at the speed of most medium tanks. So you, you can get in the same spot as what the enemy medium might go for. For example, on the hill map, the mines you can go on the hill if you really want to, and because you got more armor and more health points and probably more damage I'll put than most mediums you're gonna give them a really hard time f uh, fighting against you and that is how you want to play this thing as you can see the gun trolls me quite a bit here and there and now I'm, I'm just praying for backup really uh, there's nothing for me to do at the moment except pray um, and of course make sure my all my shot gets on target so nicely our RT lands one perfect shot onto the object 416 not like I actually needed that one but now I should have loaded the heat round on the FV, but I I I never played the FE, I never even got one, so I forgot how to pen it. I thought the armor wasn't really that good, or rather the highlights of this tank. But apparently he can bounce my shots pretty uh, reliably anyway. So hopefully, okay. I can shoot it lower play. No, it doesn't really give it to me. I shot the flipping building. I was so bad. So I feel like uh, I don't want to load the gold, but it seems like I have to now. And also, I look at my shitty shots here and there. The shots are just so bad. And this is one of the reasons that I don't like this thing. It doesn't. I don't know why, but it's just a combo I don't like. But then sometimes it does work, and um, I do go aggressive in this and but it sometimes doesn't work for me and I lose quite a bit on this tank as well look at this shit I just don't pen him okay you can say I didn't aim for his weak spot but come on I'm a heavy tank I should I should actually be able to pen him for fuck's sake and yeah my my opinion is quite mixed at the moment with this tank okay I might have got an ace in this game this might be an ace tanker, but by no means is a good game to me. I just, I don't know. It's just sad that I bounce on him so many times. And when it works, I get why it works. And I do get why people like it. And I cannot say that I don't like it. It's just that not many times it works for me. And now I'm back from the holiday, so you should expect more contents now uh, than before. And I'll see you next time.